In 2017, a group of geneticists got together to make new criteria. And the reason for that was that they realized that, well, simply being hypermobile wasn't necessarily a disorder in and of itself. Some people are more flexible than others. So the question was, when does that shift over to being a disorder, to being a medical condition? And when might we consider it a form of EDS? So that was the goal in 2017, and it was a very good goal. It was a very difficult goal. And so what happened was a group of geneticists created criteria. 